Hello, welcome back to Storybook Crochet. In today's video, we are going to be making these ice cream cones. I already made one in chocolate, mint, and vanilla. So for this uh, video, we're going to be making the strawberry or, you know, whatever color that you choose to make. So you're going to need um, some yarn in the colors of your choice. And I used, for the cone part, I used the I Love This Yarn brand. Um, cotton from Hobby Lobby and for the um, the ice cream colors I used Yarn Bee Stitch 101 50 50 and this is also from Hobby Lobby okay you will also need some scissors a stitch marker a yarn needle and we are using an F hook you will also want to grab some fiber fill so let's grab all of our supplies and we'll get going all right, so we're going to start with the cone, and that's what this will look like. It's a very simple, easy pattern, great for beginners. So you're going to want to grab your um, cone color or your light tan, whichever color you're using, your hook, and your stitch marker for this part of our pattern. So we're going to start with a magic ring. And in this magic ring, we are going to make six single crochets. Alright, so once you've made your six, go ahead and pull that tail to close that opening. Okay, I go ahead and grab my stitch marker and put it at the end of my round. So that was round one and we have six single crochets. So for round two, we're going to start with a one single crochet in that very first stitch. And then we're going to increase in the next stitch. So we're going to put two single crochets in that next stitch. And you're going to repeat, th repeat that pattern around. So one single crochet in the next, increase in the next. And you're doing that a total of three times for round two. Okay, pull that tail a little bit tighter if you need to tighten it. And you can start to kind of pop that end out a little bit so that it's um, curving up. Okay, so for round two, you should have a total of nine single crochets. So for round three, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So again, for round three, you will have a total of nine single crochets. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to cut that middle tail to get that out of the way. Alright, so now for round four, we're going to do the same kind of pattern, but this time we're going to put two single crochets across the first two stitches. So one and two. And then we're going to increase in that third stitch. And you're going to repeat that two more times. So one one and then increase
Okay, so that is round four and we should have 12 single crochets. So for round five, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around, again with a total of 12 single crochets. All right, moving on to round six, we're going to now do three single crochets and then increase. So one, two, and three, and then increase in the fourth. And repeat that two more times for a total of 15 single crochets. Okay, and for round seven, we're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. All right, moving on to round eight. This time we're going to do four single crochets and then increase. So one, two, three, and four, and then increase. So at this point, I'm sure you can see the basic pattern that we're doing here. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and continue with this pattern. So after your four single crochets and increase round you're just going to do a regular single crochet round then you're going to do five single crochet and increase round then a regular single crochet round then six single crochets and increase round and then one more single crochet round so you'll have a total of 13 rounds by the time you finish and your last round you should have 24 single crochets made so i'm going to go ahead and Fast forward this so you can pause and finish that up and then we will meet back at the end and we will start making the top of our ice cream. Okay, so we have finished our 13 rounds. So we're just going to make a slip stitch into that next um, single crochet and then cut a tail. It doesn't need to be long because we're just going to go ahead and weave that in. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now and then we'll set that aside. So I just go down through the next stitch a couple of rows and then weave that through that row. Okay, and then go ahead and cut that off. All right, so that is our cone finished. So we'll go ahead and set that aside and grab the color yarn that you're gonna be using 
to make your ice cream. And again, this is the Yarn Bee Stitch 101 in color candy. And then we have the mint, and I believe this is brown or chocolate, I can't remember, and ivory. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start again with a magic ring. And in this magic ring, we're gonna put six single crochets. All right, once you have your six, go ahead and pull that tail closed. Okay, so for round two, we're gonna make increases all the way around. So an increase in every stitch around. Right now we have a total of six stitches or six single crochets. So for round two, we'll end up having 12. So go into the first stitch and make two single crochets. And then do that in every stitch around. Go ahead and pull that tail closed a little bit tighter if you need to. And I'm gonna grab my stitch marker, put this in at this point. So if you will, real quick, in the comments below, let me know what flavor is your favorite ice cream and what flavor you are making your ice cream come today. All right, for round three, we're gonna start off with one single crochet in the first stitch and then increase in the second stitch. And then you'll just repeat that. One single crochet in the next stitch, increase in the next. Keep repeating that around for a total of six times and you will have 18 single crochets at the end of round three. Okay, so that finishes off round three. For round four, we're just gonna repeat that, but this time we're going to make two single crochets. So one, and then two, and then increase in the third. One, and two, increase in the third. Okay, at this point, go ahead and um, hit that pause button and continue on to finish off round four. You have a total of 24 single crochets made, and I will meet you back at the beginning of round five. All right, to start off round five, we're going to make three single crochets this time. So one, two, and three, and then increase in the fourth stitch. So again, you'll just repeat that around three single crochets, increase in the fourth stitch until you have a total of 30 single crochets made. So I will meet you back at the beginning of round six. Okay, so we are now on round six and for round six through 11, that's six total rounds, you're just going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. And that's all you do for those rounds. And that's going to build up the sides of our ice cream cone, or our ice cream part of our cone. So again, just one stitch around in each stitch for round six through 11. So go ahead and finish those rounds and we'll meet back to do the last two rounds of our ice cream. All right, so at this point you should have 11 rounds made and we're, we have two rounds to go. So the for round 12, we're going to start off with three single crochets. A 
Okay, after you make your three single crochets, you're going to decrease. So you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have two loops on your hook, then you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull it through all three uh, loops. So you just made two stitches into one, making a decrease. So again, you're going to do three single crochets. And then you're going to decrease. All right, so for round 12, repeat that around three single crochets and decrease until you have a total of 24 single crochets and I will meet you back for the beginning of round 13. All right, round 13 is going to be our last round and for this round we are going to be working in the front loop only. So if you look closely at the stitches here you'll see two loops. There's a top one and a bottom one. So what we're going to do is insert our hook in between those two stitches so that you are only going under that front loop. And we're going to do that in every stitch around. So normally you would go under both to make your stitch, but this time we're just going to go under that front loop only. And if you want a video more detailed on how to do this and how to work under the back loop only, you can find that at the link in the description below. All right, so in our first stitch under that front loop only, we are going to make four single crochets all in that same stitch. And this is going to make the kind of scalloped edging of our ice cream so it will look like this. Okay, so after you make those four, you're going to go under the front loop of the next stitch and you're going to make a slip stitch. So just pull your yarn through your loop on your hook. Okay, and you're going to repeat that around. So four single crochets in the next stitch. and then increase, or sorry, and then slip stitch in that next. And you'll repeat that around until you get back to the beginning and then I will show you how to finish it off. We're gonna stuff everything with fiber fill and then we're gonna sew it together. Okay, so this is what our ice cream should look like at this point. So go ahead and finish off your yarn and leave a long tail because we're gonna use that to sew it onto the cone. Let's go ahead and finish that off. Okay, so the next part is going to be to stuff it with some fiber fill. So you're going to stuff each one, making sure you get enough in there, but don't overfill the cone because it'll be hard to sew it onto the ice cream. So go ahead and fill those, and then I'll show you how to sew them together. Okay, so you should have filled it with fiber fill. So let's go ahead and grab our needle and thread it onto our ice cream thread. And so you're going to work in these back loops that we left undone from our last round and then the front loops of our cone. So just match it up. Okay, and then that first back loop, you're just going to grab a front loop of the cone and pull it through. And you're just going to do that all the way around. Like so. And then before you uh, finish it off, when you still have a little bit of a gap, you can go ahead and add more fiber fill to it to fill it in um, if it's not all the way full right now. So continue all the way around until you get back to the beginning and then we'll weave in our ends. All right, so that finishes off our ice cream. So let's go ahead and just come up through the ice cream so we can weave this in a couple times. I just go back and forth a couple times just to make sure that doesn't come out. And then we'll cut that yarn. All right, so that finishes off our ice cream cone. Um, again, in the comments, tell me which uh, flavor is your favorite and which one that you made um, in this video. And here's all mine um, put together. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future patterns that come out. I do have quite a few that I'm working on right now, so you don't want to miss those. 
So thanks for joining me and making our ice cream together and I will see you in the next video.